Hi, you guys. I am the Runway Travelista, you guys, and we are coming back with another great topic, you guys. Today, we are exploring the benefit of choosing peace and the role it plays in overall total wellness and well-being, okay? So we're going to get right to it, you guys. Again, you know I have my blueprint, and then we're just going to go up on some of my own personal experiences. I feel like that that's the best way to kind of mesh it all together, you guys. But we're going to start off by saying it says choosing peace in our daily lives is a transformative decision, okay, that impacts every dimension of our well-being. This includes our mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual, okay? So we're seeing on a lot of these topics that we're uh, diving into, um, that it, is, it, it plays a role in the total wellness and well-being because it's always dealing with our mind, the mental, our emotions, our physical health and well-being, and our spiritual, okay? Meaning our core values, morals, and beliefs, okay? Number one, it says um, peace as a foundation for mental health. This is big. I like to always, um, for some reason, because of the experiences that I've had, I've had a lot of challenges and difficulties dealing with the mind, okay, and staying in uh, peace, okay, having peace of mind, you know, different times how we talked about self-doubt, okay, we talked about negative thinking, negative thoughts, okay, this is, that's why I believe that it's so crucial to have that uh, mind connection and drawing peace into that because that's going to help us with overall wellness and total well-being, okay, it says when we choose peace, we create space for mental clarity, Okay, in a world full of distractions and stress, because we know that there are several distractions, okay, and we know that there are a lot of stress, uh, uh, th uh, things out there to stress us, okay. Choosing peace means consciously stepping away from chaos, okay. And this is something that I feel like I can really talk about, you guys, because. Um, and I say that as, as you grow older, you get a little better, you get wiser. Um, in my earlier years, these are for my young people. I'm talking about men and women. A lot of times that, you know, um, because we didn't have the tools or I didn't have the tools for conflict resolution and I didn't have the tools, um, I dealt I dealt in a lot of chaos and drama, okay? Because that's what it is, okay? And um the older you get, and some of us don't, you know, we say the older we get, the better we get. But a lot of times, if you're not really focused in on uh, building uh, and being successful at your mind, body, spirit connection, then you'll stay in that thing even past uh, some of what I call the golden years, okay? But it's all about growth for me. And that's why whatever it takes, um, and I told myself, and maybe that's why I was challenged a lot, is because I want, I want that for myself. I want peace for myself, okay? I want a peaceful mind. I don't want to live in chaos, okay, and turmoil, okay? So when we choose that, we, that we're making a decision. So what is a choice? A choice is a decision to do something different. And that's what me, you know how I say it, seek peace and pursue it, okay? That's what this girl was after, seeking peace. And anybody out there that's struggling right now, especially in, in my young people, okay? You, can, you have the choice to choose peace, okay? You have the choice to make right, right decisions and wise decisions now, okay? That's why I like to come out because I feel like a lot of this, I wouldn't have bumped my head a million times, you guys, and that's why I feel it's so beneficial to come out um, and speak on it so some of you guys don't have to go through some of the um, you know, the bump in the head, because these are decisions and choices that we can make ourselves, you guys, really and truly, we have the power, and we're understanding that it's nothing outside of us, we we keep saying that, but it's nothing outside of us, everything, the choices that we make, okay, they come from us and our core, and we have the right, we have the right to choose, and choosing peace uh, is 
a choice that will help with our overall total wellness and well-being. Okay. It says, um, consciously stepping away from chaos and into a space of calm. And who wants that? I, this girl searched for it. Okay. It's like I went through the whole, I, I would swim the blue sea. <laughs> I say that jokingly, you guys, but I really mean that because that's very important to me. And so the things that you hold dear and that is very important to you, you're going to go after that thing. Okay. And you're going to seek it. It's just like it says, seeking peace and pursuing it. Okay. Until you get to that point. And, um, it says this reduces stress, anxiety, and depression, and of which are major contributors to poor mental health. And what did we talk about when we say poor mental health? A lot of people think mental health is crazy. They think it's, um, you know, all these bipolar, schizophrenic, and things like that. But actually, poor mental health is the bad thoughts in our mind, the negative thoughts, okay? Stressful things that we think about and stay on, okay? Uh, anxiety, okay? Uh, depression, and all those things lead to the breakdown of the mind okay and then and then uh, we're not cl thinking clearly and and uh, with clarity okay and so that's very important okay you guys and that's why I say I know you hear me talk about total mind and wellness and well-being but it plays a role in every aspect of our lives okay down to the physical down to the emotional okay down to the um uh, the, uh, uh, physical. Okay. So, uh, choosing peace allows our brains to function better. Okay. So that's what it's telling us when we are calm, our cognitive abilities like decision-making creativity and focus sharpen. Okay. Do you fit do, do when, okay. So this is a prime example for me. And then you can see if this is something that you deal with. When you're in chaos, when you're, uh, you know, not thinking clearly, what does it cause you to do? Make irrational, uh, poor decisions, okay? So you're not focused on doing the right thing. Your mind is so in chaos. And so you're, you're, you, you may be scrambling to, uh, think of ways to do stuff that's going to give you, um, um, it's going to cause you to have poor decision making and and doing poor and making poor choices okay so that's very important that we uh it's telling us right here so we can do it okay gone is the day where we say okay it's outside of us it, it's us okay we have the choice and we can choose to do that all right uh, and it says like decision making creating and focusing okay and do you have you noticed that when you um they have a right frame of mind and where you thinking right thoughts and when you thinking positive thoughts how creative your, your mind is okay i feel like i do my best work when i put out all distractions, when I put out all negative thoughts, when I put off, uh, you know, a certain thing, uh, anxiety and depression. Okay. I have better clarity and I can, uh, it's, I, my mind is sharpened. Okay. It helps me to make things and be creative and in, innovative. Okay. So that's very important. Okay. Especially for my people that are in entrepreneur, trying to go after a business, anybody who is going after anything, we talk about this. Uh, any successes, um, athletes, um, nursing, doctors, anything that you're going after, you're going to need that, um, that uh, peaceful mind to be able to, um, because it, it will be things that come up, okay, that cause confusion, cause uh, us to get off, okay? So we want to keep that peaceful mind. It says, um, likely to okay so it says we are more likely to approach challenges rationally rather than react emotionally and that's another thing where i said mind over matter we want to rise above our emotions okay because what does emotions make us do it makes us lash out or or do things that we're that are out of our character okay and we want to stay in good character okay you guys <laughs> All right, so a peaceful mind is better at problem solving, okay? Because 
it is less clouded by anxiety and worry. And what does anxiety and worry do? It has us to maybe, like we said, make poor decisions and poor choices, okay? Have you ever thought about some, okay, so let me give an example. This is kind of far-fetched, but okay, say a person doesn't have money to meet their needs or pay their bills, then what do you do? Uh, uh, some people to get off, want to go rob a bank? No, that's not the way to do it. That's a poor choice and a poor decision. And then what is that going to lead you to? Prison. <laughs> I'm saying that jokingly, you guys, but that's just giving an example on the importance of, uh, you know, having a peaceful mind to uh, help us with our problem solving. OK, and we'll come back to this, you guys. That was just a, you, that's how it goes when we get started. It's just more and more that comes up, but we'll continue on with part two, you you guys so it may be a part two part three but we are seeing that uh the role that um pos uh peacefulness okay but having a peaceful spirit peaceful mind how it plays a role in total all overall wellness and well-being okay stay tuned for part two you guys